Welcome to Quarry Plus. This mod adds an updated version of the old Buildercrafts quarry from the Tekka days of Minecraft, which will allow you to set up machines to automatically mine for you. So how do we get started? Before we jump in, please check if you're running the Fabric or the Forge version of the mod. If you're running the Fabric version, please click the video that just popped up in the top right hand corner of the screen as the Fabric and Forge versions are entirely different. With that out of the way, let's get started by creating our first quarry system called the Solid Fuel Quarry. Once placed, you'll see the quarry frames are outlined in a yellow and black line. This is the section that the quarry will be mining inside. This quarry can be powered by any fuel source, such as coal, so simply place the coal inside and you will see the quarry power up and begin to mine. You can also place a chest on top or on the side to collect the items from the quarry. Congratulations, you've constructed your first quarry. However, we should try to make a quarry that isn't going to use our resources. In this case, we will want to make the Quarry Plus Quarry. To start, let's craft a Workbench Plus which will allow us to craft most of the machines in this mod. Then simply place the item shown on the screen into the workbench and it will craft the Quarry Plus block. Once again, simply place it down, but this time, instead of powering it with fuel, it must be powered with energy. You could use any energy mod as it will use FE, RF, EU, MJ, and so on, but in our case, we'll just power it with a solar panel. Awesome, now that we've created the Quarry Plus, let's go over how we can add enchantments to quarries, such as Fortune or Silk Touch. To do this, we need to make an enchantment mover. This machine allows us to move enchantments from a pickaxe to the quarry itself. Simply place the enchanted pickaxe into the machine, as well as Quarry Plus, and then click the enchantment in the middle to move it over to the quarry. Then simply place down the quarry, and now it will have those enchantments. Now that we've gone over the quarry and enchantments, let's go over some other machines that can give the quarry extra benefits. The first is the quarry pump. This will pump any liquids and place them into tanks that are against the quarry. As a side note, you can also craft an advanced pump, which will work with without being next to a quarry. The Quarry XP Collect Machine will collect XP mined by ores and be collected by just right clicking on the block. Each of these modules can be placed as a block next to the quarry or you can convert them to a module by placing them inside of a crafting table and then placing them directly inside of the quarry. You can also create a void module that will automatically remove blocks that are set to it. Let's now go over the rest of the items and machines this mod adds that can also help you out. The first is that there are three types of markers that can let you decide which size of a quarry you would like. The first is the marker plus, which you'll need three to create the square. Simply place down the first marker and activate it with a redstone signal. Next, place two more markers on the blue lines that have been created. And lastly, right click on one marker and your area of the quarry has been created. The next one is the flexible marker. For this one, you only need to place a single marker and then you can just use the GUI to change the red box depending on how large you want your quarry to be. Lastly, there is a chunk marker, which will automatically select the entire chunk for you. This mod also adds the Placer Plus machine, which can place blocks when it is hit with a redstone signal. The chunk destroyer works exactly like a quarry, but will remove entire chunks at a time. The status checker allows you to right click on a machine and it will give you all of the details, including if it has finished yet. The quarry Y setter lets you set the Y level you want to stop the machine at. For example, if you want to stop it at Y level 12, simply right click on the machine with the setter and select 12. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and feel free to go check out the video below where I cover the entirety of storage drawers which can help you store your items from your quarry.